mistaken. Um, but now they're looking to shift down south on the shift far heavily. I get that you want to be, be aggressive, but be in the action and play for the very late stages. Strike and Fnatic Zombies also get pushed away from that shack. And now this is a 1v3. Are we going to see him? I don't think that's something Lamborghini really wants to try and take. The odds don't really seem in his favor. But yeah, there he goes. Zeus indeed going for the breach onto Blacklist International's compound. The entire team is now going to be joining up. Dion makes it go. inside and scared. Every time you stay alive, you get so many more position points, which is so worthwhile. Now Reject, they're going to go for the fight. For the late game, they didn't really push onto Valdis, and Valdis are now close. Back to Zion! Oh, it does bend down to where they currently are, but I think that Reject is already on the move to snatch that position for themselves. Navi on the Radio Tower Square that they had a pretty good start to in one of the Urango games yesterday. I think it was the final game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but now they're looking to shift down south on top of the hill where Observatory is held on to. So it's a really good hill that Navi are setting themselves oh, up yeah. for. Great reaction on this Phase 3 shift. Curious to know how Blacklists are going to deal with this kind of shift far heavily down south as Ida gets knocked down at the hands of Zio. In front of Yala, unfortunately, Ida was sent out there as a more of a scout player. Tiggs is actually going to be able to find himself a knock with his mm. DP-28, trusty weapon to play with. I see, hoping to maybe get some utility towards Zio. There you go, that's the smoke coming out. He's going to get into the car, into the Lamborghini, and uh, well, not Lamborghini, sorry, the McLaren. Still hoping to get one, but unfortunately I can't get any more, so my luck has uh, run dry. Hopefully getting it there in time, one or two bullets, and that's it for Zio, and he does get himself inside of the smoke behind that rock, so that's going to be fun, and there's nowhere enough space to actually go for Nate play. So that should happen pretty easily, and the rest of Zeus is going to be joining up on the party. We're slowly but surely seeing teams get close to each another, but nothing that really should mean any closure to any team just yet. Oh my lord, a lot of shots being fired by Navi, but what is this spread? Meku gets knocked, Kitsune is way further apart. They were on a great hill and they just, they give that up to try and go for a fight yeah. and they lose two players. Incredibly poor decision making from Navi. I get that you want to be, be aggressive, but be aggressive and controlling in your own area. Don't go to the fight when you don't have to. I also got to say credit to Yala because one of Yala's players got knocked down. They didn't instantly go for the revive. They actually waited. Now that they've got it, they're now able to drive away. Plus Valdis went down onto the hill and Yala, their two player that were holding onto the compound, got a kill onto one of the Valdis players. So really great, actually two of the Valdis players. So really good teamwork across the board from Yala to hold onto their position and get the revive. That's big pog. That is the compound that you want if you want to slow down teams that are trying to move away from Everest. So they used it really yeah. well. And not only that, they were also very aware of the situation of where Ziola was when he got knocked. They saw that there was a third party happening in the kill feed. So like, okay, they can't go for the kill confirm onto Ida. And also because I think Ida just died so many times early game yesterday. They're like, okay. To the circle. And they have those walls that they're able to play around by those buildings. Now the push onto Reject's position. Teams know they're going to have to push on this spot eventually. This is a must-have spot. First one to do that is going to be Zeus. Not going to be going over, over aggressive just yet. They're trying to gather the most information as possible while Reject is trying to reposition, get all the cars stacked up next to the Harry Potter Tower. The main issue we have, literally what just happened with... Um, with them is they gave themselves up one by one by one by one. You're making the fight yeah. so easy for A1 to pick in the first place. So I ate hoping to think back on this game and hopefully re watch the VOD and see what went wrong because you're making it too easy. And some reses like that on crypto, especially, is just not worthwhile. You're in such a risky position. One easy Some's shot. The and play for the very late stages of the game. I see him giving himself a nice knock onto Damaru through the smoke. Really good pre fire from him. Liquid got knocked down. Hopefully he can make it back to the buggy. I would even say for Zuxi, if he could pop the buggy, the buggy, make it explode. The buggy, a new car. There you go, new car scheme coming up in post Mobile confirmed. They can maybe get the res on to That would be huge. But yeah, oh, able to sneak behind. This, that one smoke in front of him dissipates and is gone. That is A1 losing two players minimum, I would say. But just the controls he's have in the late stages of the game. They're taking fight after fight Push. after fight. Oh, Geek fam, they want to really push out of that roadside position, but it's so hard. They have no intel. They do not know where the teams are localized inside the circle itself. They do not know where to go. Where are they going to be positioned? And they just get naded up so hard. That's a big nade. And that's it for Geek fam as they get swiped away by none other than the Fnatic Zombies themselves. Mexico, what a nade indeed.
but now the play for Fnatic Zombies is to keep teams away from the nade range from your shack. If they cannot get in that position, you will not be contested. Even Zeus are a little bit too far away, but they're smoking their way closer and closer. If they get any closer, we're talking 20 meters, and this might just be the end for Fnatic Zombies. BTR, they are being given so oh, much close. They are not being targeted by Fnatic Zombies at all. It's getting too close. Godless, he knows if he gets in nade range, this is GG for Fnatic Zombies. They will not be able to fight back in any way, shape, or form. They'll just get bullied all over the place. But they need to be sure and aware of their surroundings. Oh, they're huge for BTR. Can they take it as a two, man? No, they can't. They're too much out in the open. Never mind the fact that A1 have been able to keep themselves up as a full squad. How's that even being able to happen? I know Zeus were taking multiple fights at once, but I thought they were going to punish A1 a little bit more aggressively, but no confirmations, no kills. He's A1 in a pretty good spot. Zeus are everywhere. Oh. Frowny sent to the afterlife too, as IC gets picked up. If you can make it to that crate, actually, that'll be big. One of the BTR players. Mexico against spotted way. Yeah, the, the angles are just so wide, so hard to deal with for Fnatic Zombies. That shack is thought to have big control on the circle itself. The smokes are now going to be dissipating, making it a little bit easier to actually connect those shots in the first place. But Jaxi knows. Now he yeah. sees down below. That's the entirety of Zeus. We need to make sure that this squad does not make it over to the ridge. If they do, that's going to make it even harder for them to move them out of that position in the first place. So, Zeus, this is hard. I know it. But if you survive, this would be extremely worth it in the long term. You just have to head in one direction. You either head towards A1 or head towards Zombies. You can't split that. You can not split that. To make a choice eventually. Boo, no, you're spotted away by 6-9 with the M16. And that's the headshot that connect. And BTR gets picked up. You said Imperium. There was no way. They were down below. They had no cover to play with except a buggy. And that can very easily be overcome. The Rays are still coming out. Can you get a boot inside the shack? Does it get shut down, actually? All the folks of A1 seems to be towards the likes of Zeus. They want to get rid of them before putting their focus towards the likes of Fnatic Zombies. So Fnatic Zombies, they're just waiting nice one, Jax. for the team to get eliminated. Oh, great play by Jax. He's single-handedly keeping the space away from the three other players of his yeah. team. He's been the sacrificial lamb, stopping Zeus from going forward while the other players from the team are focusing on Zombies. And prone Salami. you got to be careful. You're prone in the open. That is... Very, very easy for maybe Jax. Actually, Jax just leaves the position of Zeus. That's really even a lot of pressure. He sees the circle moving up. He knows they're going to have to come their way. He's just waiting for the opportune time to strike. And Fnatic Zombies also getting pushed away from that shack. There is no way out of this one. And I believe they already use a lot of their meds because they got knocked just so many times by A1 and Zeus. And now they've got the spray oh, the trees. Oh, it is so hard for A1 to fight from that one. A flashbang in the open. They have no idea what's happening. Allowing Sinister slowly for sure. He's his way forward. And he strikes. Mexico down first. Salam and Abu still up and ready to go. And he's going to try and confirm that kill. Oh, Every good. single point counts. Salam also getting picked away. While Zeus are just waiting. They're seeing the kill feed lighting up. They're hoping to see a team go down so they can steal away second place. That is their game plan this time around. As Abood hasn't got spotted out just yet. He's taking this one really slow. None of the teams have secured a chicken in so far in the PMWI. So whoever comes out on top, it That's will big. be their first win. That'll be big for a lot of these teams. I'm sure a lot of people in chat hoping to see Zeus get himself the dub. Boo gets spotted away, goes for the spray, what bullies all you need? Oh my god, almost got the counter play and almost got the knock himself, but at the end, that is going to be GD well play for Fnatic Zombies. Still a great performance compared to what we saw yesterday, but that is 11 kills total over to Zeus, and they know, they know exactly where there's one player of Zeus, but he is not. That is not the current player you should be focusing on. You should be looking at Sinister, but they have no idea where he is. They think he's all behind the tree, and now this is a 1v3. Are we going to see a Martin 2.0? 2v3. It's 2v3. He's still Sinister. Another one? And Dante. Yes, there is. Why is he hidden? Oh, he's hidden so well. I can't even see him. Okay, fair enough. 2v3 in Pyramid, as you say. Now it's going to be a 1v3. Sinister, there he goes. A little bit farther and wider. Tries to go for the spray, but gets overwhelmed. And that is going to be GG. To keep the hopes alive of Deke Xavier able to remain on our top five on the overall leaderboards. Oh, clear. Oh, no. See, no way. Tixie spotted away, and he's also out of the game. That's going to be a sixth place for Narvi. Five teams still in the running for our third chicken dinner of the day. This is such an interesting one, but Zeus have suffered no casualties. Still up as a four-man. Get rid of Fnatic Zombies, the only other team on the East. And now they've got to cross over the road, but the man advantage is exactly what they need to overwhelm all the other teams in this game. They mean the kings, the queens, the jacks, the tens, all the deck of cards controlling on the East. Zeus have, but as they've gone across the road, they have a little bit of a rich side that they can use to pick apart Blacklist. Pick a park geek fam. Are they going too deep too quick? Icy is prone down. Tyra has control of the box and he uses it to get the knock on Icy. 
Okay, th is there no nades available right now? One nade and that crate is gone. Y you will just get rid of Tara and it'll be so easy. They're not doing it just yet, which I'm very surprised. I'm gonna try and get away a little bit closer, put that back in front of IC to hopefully facil facilitate a res later on down the line. Lamborghini still peeking his way closer. That's a nade, that's a good one. That's an absolute banger. Snipes is gone. And QB is also gonna be entirely elim eliminated off the back of that nade. Seven kills so far. Lamborghini oh, is just an absolute one-man army this game. What is going on? Oh, wait, he's going to eat right behind that smoke. He got spotted that force for a second. Go to the broom shot. And he gets rid of Geek Fam. You clutch versus BTR. You clutch versus Geek Fam. Can he be stopped, Imperium? I don't think so. He's a one-man wrecking machine. Faster than the speed of light to respond to those shots. Very well played. But now we're left with our final three teams. Zeus, eight kills. Full squad up, Blacklist. They are a team that plays to survive. Well, they survived up until the top three with a full squad and four kills under their belt. So the game plan for Lamborghini right now is hope that Zeus and also Blacklist International take a fight first. That is the only chance where Lamborghini could really, and I mean really, have a clear opportunity of winning that. Otherwise, it's, you need to win a 1v8, basically, and I don't think that's something Lamborghini really wants to try and take. The odds don't really seem in his favor. But Zeus, knowing Zeus, whenever circle like this, they like to go a little bit a little bit wider, go for wider spread. If they do that, they should get a wind of information of where Lamborghini currently stands. Tyra starts things off, catches out Godless, the kill's going to come through, and that's actually sending Zeus... Closer yeah. to Lamborghini. He's actually taking a shot. I thought he was going to take this one so slow, so passive. But he goes for the knock onto IC. He does get taken down by Zeal at the very end. Still, what a great attempt from the Xavier Lamborghini. I'm tipping my hat to that. That was just such a good play in general from him from start to finish. But now, not only that, he created such a big opportunity for Blacklist because they were not involved in this fight. He got himself a kill, he got himself a knock, and because of that, Zeus are currently down to two players, and Blacklist has got such a huge line of sight, there is no escape for Zeus. That's still down first, and he won't play remaining, he's right on the left, that's going to be Abelie, let's see if he can make the clutch play happen, but there's no way in hell that's going to be coming his way. As that yeah, there he goes, Zeus indeed going for the breach onto Blacklist International's compound, the entire team is now going to be joining up. The old makes it go. inside and scave, but that's the end. That's Blacklist like, International, unfortunately, caught out and naded to their doom. One actually was a benefit to Tixie in that situation, yeah, knocking hell, down Mr. Boro. Now, Zeus, who took out Blacklist International inside this building, are going to get breached by Reject. And that's what I was talking about with the East and the Southeast area of this circle. Teams are fighting for Reject, covering on the sidelines. Icy is knocked down, but Zeus do have the cover where they can't play around these buildings. We talked about the macro rotation in Japan, how strong they are. They were straight up down south and understood how hard that rotation was to pull off in the first place. Cross over the road, breach comp. Unfortunately, it was bad passing by I8, trying to play for the late game. They didn't really push onto Valdis, and Valdis are now closer to the circle in which they can third party this Zeus and reject fight. What? To touch on what time you stay alive, you get so many more positioning points, which is so worthwhile. Now Reject, they're going to go for the fight. Zeus, they pull the trigger. They're going to try and go for their own engage. It's a 2v3 currently, not in favor of Zeus whatsoever. But Reject are struggling. They have no information of what's happening inside the smokes. Where are the enemies? They have literally no clue. But Reject still actually got one onto the other side. There you go. Now it's a three-man. Bingo. And they get himself a knock onto Godless. Oh, oh Valdis. Third party from Concept. Oh, Valdis. Oh, you're going to ruin it. That looks like a great nade action to Zio. Oh. It does put him down to 50%. Reject. Still have yet to confirm the kill to Godless. So that's still some information potentially being fed over to Zeus's last remaining player. The nade does miss for concept. How close is this fight right now? But he's got to keep the fight going. Joel doesn't oh. know where that nade went from. He's now being Push. pushed in. Reject Scarlet are going to get the better of Joel and Zeus goes down. Zeus are out of here. Because they're the ones taking the chicken dinners. In game one, it was going to be Zeus Esports. Oh, oh. <laughs> man, you just, just built us up there. On it. Yeah, I good job, like, bro. The, You're like, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's like, Considering you are they correct. Got zero kills or zero points in on Sandhawk and Miramar. That's very impressive overall coming in. Godless of Still maintaining that first place lead and still doing it by 55 points here, guys. Yeah, I mean, tw those 28 points they got at the end uh, in the final game really helped it, held themselves out, right? I really felt like the, the lead they had yesterday, 50-point lead at the end of day one, it was kind of going to be...